Okay, guys, let's try this again. The lighting is way better with my iPhone than it was with my laptop. laptop. Okay, we took all of Natalia's makeup off, except for the lipstick, because it won't come off. Okay, so let's start again. And I'm and I'm glad that I'm glad that we couldn't okay. didn't have to um take it off because really it really okay burns. okay so the first thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with the foundation and, again and you want to go a little darker than your child's face because it's stage it's makeup so I'm using a really nice liquid foundation and I like to apply with a brush so. We're gonna do this, okay, look at me. Okay, we're gonna make sure we blend really well and blend into the hairline because that's part of the face. Sorry guys, that the other one was not really good. Yeah, yeah. The lighting was bad. And the sound was really bad. Yeah. Okay, so this is very important. Pick your chin up, please. You must blend into her neck because you don't wanna have that crazy line. So we're blending into Natalia's neck. God, to only have beautiful skin like this again. Okay, so I think that she's still just a little bit pale. So I'm going to go at her face with a bronzer. Okay, put the doll That's down. a messy bun. Doll? Okay. You said dog. Okay, so I'm going to just hit her face with a little bit of bronzer just to kind of darken it up a little oh. so that it feels good. So that on the stage, she's just a little bit darker than her natural this color. This feels so good on my face. Okay, so now with that same bronzer, I'm gonna give Natalia some cheekbones. How do we give you cheekbones, Natalia? How do we do it? How do we do the cheekbones? Come on, suck your cheeks in. Take your brush and give her some sculpting. So she's got a cheekbone. Follow the line, give her a little bit of sculpting. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill that in with some blush. This blush. Now you this, want the blush a little bit darker. So you're gonna go right above, turn your head this way so they can see. Right above and you're gonna go crazy with that blush. Now you know, if she walks through Walmart or something like that, somebody might think your kid's a hoochie, but this is for stage and for photography. So go a little bit darker. Come here. So a little bit darker on her blush. Turn side to side, please. Turn your head sideways. Side to side, please. Okay. Now, I love myself a little bit of highlight, personally. So, we're going to highlight her cheekbones a bit. Okay. Oh, can I show them? Yes. It's a fan so, brush. we'll be using this fan brush, and it feels so good on your face. It's so soft. Okay. So, we're just going to turn that way. We're just going to highlight the top of her cheekbone. Make and, sure you do it softly. Yes. And the top of her cheekbone. And, and just gently. come down the nose just a little bit. Just a little, little bit. Okay, so. That's the sound. Just a little, little bit. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do her eyeshadow. Mm. Now, I use a cream to powder. Close your eyes, please. Because sometimes kids have a problem with the powdered eyeshadow getting into their eye. And that happens a lot to me with my eyeshadow. Yeah. So what you can do, if you don't have a cream to powder, you can just dampen your brush just a little bit and go into your powder, close, into your powder shadow and um, make it wet so it's perfect. perfect. Now we're going to highlight from top, from top to bottom. And now I'm going to use a purple glittery color on her lid. Close your eyes, please. All right, stop, please. Okay, okay. so we're going to go just a little bit darker, just so we can see it on the stage. Close. Thank you. I feel like I'm sleeping by nine. <laughs> okay, open your eyes, please, and look in the... Okay, so can you see some of the shadow comes out towards the side? You want to kind of really accentuate her eyes because they have those really cool expressions when they're on the stage. Red eye, red eye, brown eye, brown eye, red eye. Okay, so, um, you know, I don't know if most of you are going to do eyeliner on your little ones or not, but you can. You can actually do it with an eyeshadow or you can do it with a liquid eyeliner. Okay, Natalia, can you close your eye, please? 
So when you do a liquid eyeliner, you're gonna close, have them close their eye, and stretch the eye out so that you have a flat surface. Keep your eye closed. You're gonna bring it out towards the end a little, sort of like a wing, and then bring it in towards the corner and try to stay as close to the lash line as you can. Close. That's a good one. You could go a little heavier if you'd like. Okay, open. Do that. Open. Okay, close. Close. I mean, perhaps a pencil would be easier for you to do. This is really not the right angle for me to be doing this, but I'm doing the best I can from where I'm standing. Okay? So, mascara is always hard to do on someone else. Natalia is really good at it because she's got a lot of experience. So, Natalia, I need you to blink into the mascara. Blink, blink, blink. Keep blinking. Okay, keep blinking for Boppy. All right, let's do the other eye. Ready, blink, blink, blink. Open your eye a little. And we've already applied Natalia's lipstick. So we're gonna have to skip that. Yeah, and it's close your eye, close your eye. And it's kind of permanent, so we're gonna have to leave that on there just as it is. Okay, open your eyes, open. Okay, now look to the side. Blush, you wanna be able to see that blush. Okay, try to get your face close. Open your eyes wide, open your eyes wide. Okay. There's a lot of sparkles. Yes. Okay, and that's about it. So if anybody has any problems or questions, by all means, um, please let me know and I'd be glad to help you. All right, have a great day. Bye. Bye.